<laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Ryan has chosen to be mad for hmm. the rest of the Let's Play. Fuck you. <laughs> mad episode <laughs> why are you mad because i had a perfectly good sync option and then you were like no let's make it options menu <laughs> so i'm gonna be I, then i made it a point i said i'm gonna be mad for the entire episode so i'm gonna be mad for this episode oh uh, ryan you can't be mad for 15 minutes straight or do you want to try me <laughs> But we need to compliment each other's energy, and I certainly am not angry. Oh, well that's what you think. You can be all happy, go shy, shy, lucky, and everything will be hunky to dingo for you. What does that mean? But I'm gonna be an angry boy, like I promised. Because when I make a promise, I keep it. What is that, name, a rat? Name off some other promises that you've kept, Ryan. I promise that I am going to make a video I can't even keep that promise, though. That's right. We're going edgetacular now. And I'm mad that everyone keeps on telling me to make everybody's dog songs, even though I promised it. Back to being mad. I'm mad that people want me to keep my promises. Like, am I supposed to keep these promises? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Ryan! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you just Mario and Luigi's Superstar Saga? A new mechanic has been discovered! Wait, 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 oh no, dang it, I I'm can't like, I can't switch to Bruce and do a jump, whoa, this is actually pretty cool, dude, I'm still mad about it, because it's, come on, cause, Ryan, cause, uh, Ryan, come on, listen, the good, mm, the, the good crumble. thing about being a comedian is knowing when to stop, okay, hey, look, tutorial, Are you gonna kiss RJ? No, I just I, I turned around in like like a fun little joke pause thing, but now I'm like really enamored by the way that he like shifts his Yeah, rotation. he's got like a rubber band thing going on. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm glad like, I'm glad meow, you noticed meow, the same meow, thing. Meow, meow, meow. Like I'm trying really hard, but like this is I I just got like enraptured by it. I hope you understand. Okay. That's a mood. I also get enraptured. Glorious <laughs> That's the wrong button, I think. What even is that? Um, that is the Circle. That's Gloria. That, that's right? Oh, sorry, Stella. Stella. That's Whoopi Goldberg. Wait, you fool. Wait, Glor who is Gloria then? Gloria is, Gloria is the hippo from Madagascar. Oh, uh, I got this them is, confused. This is hey! Stella. Hey, we did everything. Stella. We even did the, the secondary goals. Stella! I'm so proud of us. That's like the one line I remember from Over the Hedge. Stella! Yeah, 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 because like she she fell in love. She like painted herself black and made herself look like a cat. Yeah, yeah, she she painted over all her white spots and With then- charcoal, um, and then- They put, they, they gave her a butt plug? Actually- They did give her a butt plug. Which is interesting. And the also, hey, wait a minute. You know what I've just realized? What? This is like the midpoint of the movie. Well, I mean, and like, it's the first level of the game. I mean, are you going to have exciting video game two on two no. mambo jambo action with just like a raccoon coming in and disrupting the suburban lifestyle of animals? I mean, you could. I mean, how would you make a mechanic out of that? Also, no bear. Zero out of ten. Yeah, nope. <laughs> a person has this many lasers in their house. Ryan, have you ever seen a person with lasers like this in their house? Yes. If my baby crawls into the living room after I just vacuumed, he deserves to get his face sliced off by the lasers. Oh no! That's right. So they're like... <laughs> I don't mess around. They're actively deadly lasers? They're not just like alarm triggers? No, they're passively deadly lasers. <laughs> <laughs> like if someone, because I mean it's true. If someone runs into they them, they're they not kill the ones... you, but only theoretically. No, like if you run in, they're not like coming at you to be deadly. But if you run into them, they're just like, eh, whatever. I'm just what, paid to stand what's here. What's happening? 
Um, you need to play this game of um, quick it's time just, event. It's just, it's just a quick time event, yeah. I did it! I'm Steve Carell! Please <laughs> laugh at me! Listen, Over Please. the Hedge was a good movie. Over the Hedge, I haven't seen it in a while. It I remember, I, I mean, I really liked it, but I also liked a lot of things. Yeah, true. I feel like this is gonna link back to, um, I, I know that on my on the first episode where I'm on Ink Tank, I'm, I talk about Hoodwink, I feel the same way. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like, if I would watch Over the Hedge, I would probably feel like a very gross feeling, just like, okay, you just put a butt plug into that skunk. What yeah, else, but also, I feel, <laughs> Ryan, but, I'm sorry to say this to you, to your face, but I feel like Over the Hedge is at least a better movie than Hoodwinked. Hey, I, want, I have a quick question for you <laughs> yeah? really quickly. Um, do you want to take that back? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're asking me at least because I'm no, sorry? I don't. Okay, so what you're saying is that it's time to go back to the angry episode. <laughs> I know. Because if we're, we're going to be talking about Hoodwinked and how you feel like this movie is a better movie hey, than Hoodwinked. Hey, oh my god, wait, there's a timer. What's going on? What am I supposed to do? Oh god, there's a timer. What oh, am I doing? Man. If only toss food to Penny. Oh god. Man, Whoa, just toss the food to that. Man, if only you hadn't been so dedicated to hating on one of the best movies of the early 2000s. And instead, pay attention Ryan, to the Ryan, okay, Ryan, I need to focus. List off your favorite things about Hoodwink so I don't have to talk. Hoodwink is a really good movie that is a guilty pleasure. But here's the freaking deal with it. Everyone's like, oh, Hoodwink's bad because the animation's bad. Well, guess what? I grew up with Nintendo. And Nintendo graphics compared to PS2, everyone's like, oh, Nintendo can't look good. Their graphics look like garbage. Because clearly they didn't play Wind Waker. If they did, they think that being a cartoon means that it isn't worth their time. Yeah, it looks terrible and it looks like ass and it makes me want to stab my eyeballs. But that's not what you look for in a movie. You look for good writing. Does it have that? Not really, but you know what it does have? It has quality jokes, sometimes. Enough quality jokes to keep me happy. Let me have my childhood, please. Also, Jimmy Neutron had awful animation. Well, not awful animation, uh, but, you know, Jimmy, like subpar. Jimmy Neutron TV show had better looking models than Hoodwinked. I'm gonna put that out there right now. I thought you were gonna say that the movie and I was gonna agree with you. Okay, the oh movie. Oh my God, speaking of better looking models. Yeah. This doesn't. Hey, I'm a big fucking bear, and I'm gonna take your food away from me. Oh, hey, Alfred's No, give selling. it, give it to me, and. <laughs> <laughs> you really outdid yourself this time, RJ. <laughs> <laughs> now, quickly, get into my wagon. <laughs> no. I'm this really call is like the RJ. end of the mo Ryan. This is the end of the movie. We are going to play the ex We're gonna play the, the move. We're gonna play the movie past the movie, Ryan. Do you realize? I'm down for just doing a full playthrough. Like, finally, we have another full playthrough for this channel. No, this is an ex. I'm playing a Steve Carell squirrel. And also. Oh, oh, huh, huh, huh. Okay, I'm not sure if it's a resolution thing. But top no, right, oh, that icon on No, teeth. no, <laughs> yeah, no, her face looks horrifying. Okay, good. I was worried that was like a resolution drop. No, no, the, oh my God. It looks like she's going like. Hey there, <laughs> she buddy. Looks, she looks like a discontinued Chuck E. Cheese animatronic. I heard we're sitting next together in math class. God, oh Lord, I okay. I should warn you, I bring my hibachi in for lunch every day. <laughs> Steak and rice sushi. <laughs> oh boy, it's been shitting out. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> It's got that old fish smell. Hey, I know we got chosen to do this math project together. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Staples and eat some Staples. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to Staples and look a piece of paper. Can you pick up the slack? Thanks, babe. <laughs> wow, really good job on this project you did. I'm gonna go flip off cars. <laughs> Oh that one God! Got a little too real. <laughs> are you are you speaking from a, from an old resentment that you've never forgiven? Yeah, fuck you, Taylor. <laughs> this is the anger episode again. <laughs> 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 
No, that's a real thing that happened. Like, we were doing a group project. I was with this kid named Taylor, who, if you're watching this for some reason, Taylor, fuck off. But... <laughs> Literally, like, I was like, all right, we need to do this Spanish project. We need to write a song in Spanish. What are you doing, Taylor? And he's just sitting outside flipping off cars. <laughs> Jesus, what an edgelord. Yeah, he was like, he was one of those kids. <laughs> it was middle school. Mm-hmm, yeah. Hey, please let me play the video game. <laughs> me? <laughs> no, the game itself. What's in there? I'm trying so hard. What? My what friends are in there? here, Ryan. Uh, those are really small friends. They're babies. Oh yeah, I they're forgot the, the yeah, they're the little have porcupine babies. kids, I Ryan. They have babies. Stop. I forgot they're a loving couple with children. Stop holding children to unrealistic standards. I'm sorry, I don't expect my child to be covered in painful <laughs> quills. <laughs> well, you're in for a rude awakening, buddy. <laughs> oh dang it! You figured it out. My girlfriend is actually a porcupine. <laughs> I should have noticed when we kissed and I said ow because my hands hurt from the quills. <laughs> I, sh I should have noticed when I caressed her hair and I said, Uchi, mama. And I was like, babe, did you use too much, con not too much conditioner. Did you use too much hairspray today? Conditioner would have the opposite effect, you ludicrous. Did, I, I'm, did you use too much hairspray today? <laughs> Wait, do you think you can shave? She even... said, no, I am simply wildlife. <laughs> well, I like to live on the wildlife, too. That's why I think we should get married. <laughs> Please take me seriously. I am begging you. <laughs> and then I looked into the Please, camera and started I am, I am trying to open up to you and have you learn more about me. I'm trying to take our relationship to a deeper place, and you are making jokes about my upbringing. Please, for the love of God, give me something to work with, or I will walk out this door right now, and we will never speak again. Don't let the door prick you on the way out. <laughs> and she's give not my girlfriend back, anymore. <laughs> give me back the bracelet. <laughs> I, I would I would like to, but it is stuck to my hand because of the quills aforementioned. I hate I don't like this exterminator character. Yeah, he's he is really aesthetically gross. pleasing. And this is the climax of the movie. Are they Go just ahead, Vernon. Right Once again, <laughs> we did it. We went over the hedge. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> they actively went through the hedge, though. Yeah, no, do they ever really go over the hedge? I feel like there's one, like, big action scene part where, oh, like, um... Oh, oh, I remember this part. In the movie? Yeah. Yeah, I remember, like, a um... Isn't there, like, a thing where Hammy drinks coffee? And then he has a Quicksilver moment? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because he's already so hyper, and so, like, drinking, like, caffeine, like, does yeah. him in. Just like another squirrel character from a very, very good animated film from the That's early 2000s. That's right, Sonic the Hedgehog. Hoodwinked! Sonic the I Hedgehog. I was talking about Hoodwinked. Well, well. You act like we're talking about different things. Hoodwinked was a very good movie. There were jokes in it that actually made me laugh. I guess over the As opposed to... Amy Schumer. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Ah, oh, no! Hey, can what we agree that? that Amy Schumer oh. to comedy is what uh, Megan Trainor is to music? Ooh, Ryan. Can we agree to that, please? On this Going public for it. forum? Okay. I mean, I don't need to say it again. <laughs> I'm glad they're doing more, this. Got, got any more spicy takes for us, Ryan? Uh, yes, um, and you know what? If I say this one is so spicy, it might lose followers for you. You might lose a bunch of subscribers for it. Swings oh, to no. Hammy. He has full health and Vern doesn't. Oh, you're right. Um, all right, you ready for this spicy take that I actually believe that... Uh, two spicy takes, actually, that I actually believe that oh, will dear. lose you um, subscribers. Oh, Jesus. Take number one. High School Musical was never good. Sh shut up! Get out! Leave the call right now. You're canceled. You're off the show. We're done. Oh, Sorry. You think that's bad? Are you here for take no. number two? No, I'm not. I'm not because I'm asking you to leave. Now it's my turn to be angry for the rest of the episode. All right. You don't have to listen to him anymore, guys. 
It's okay. I unlocked a movie. You know what? This has taught me a valuable lesson. You can never trust someone with a different opinion than you.